Hi, in this particular video we're being asked to solve this linear equation. It is a little bit tricky because we've got these two denominators here and we're being asked to find the value of y. Okay, well um, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the denominators on this side are exactly the same. So it's a bit like saying what is a third plus a half. Well if you do that you make both denominators 6. Okay, so we then say, well, what we're going to do is we multiply that by 2, and that becomes 2, and multiply that by 3, and that becomes 3, and then you add those two together. So that's how you would normally deal with a straightforward addition of fractions. We're going to do the same here. What we're going to say is we're going to make this denominator 6. Now, if we do that, what have we multiplied the 3 by to get to the 6? We multiplied it by 2. So therefore, we're going to multiply the top term by 2, which is exactly the same as we did here on this one. OK, next one along, we've got a denominator now of 6. What have we done to the 2 to get to 6? How many times have we multiplied it? multiplied it by 3 times. So the top bit will become 3 times y minus 4. And that's all equal to 5. So I haven't really changed anything. All I've done is I've created this um, addition of these two fractions here. So let's just tidy that up a little bit. We know the denominator is now 6. And at the top I've got 2 times 2y, which is 4y. And then I've got plus 3 times y is 3y, and then don't forget this 3 multiplies both of these terms, so it's going to be 3 times minus 4, which is minus 12, and again that all equals 5. Alright, and then it's just really a case of tidying this up and dealing with it as a normal linear equation. So I'm going to just add those two together, I get 7y uh, minus 12. And I've got this 6 here. Well, I'm going to multiply um, both sides through by 6, because if I do, I lose this denominator of 6. So I end up with getting rid of that and multiplying this through by 6. So that means then that I've got 7y minus 12 equals 5 times 6, which is 30. OK. So 7y minus 12 equals 30. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. If I do that, I get 7y equals 42. And that should give you some degree of confidence then because I can divide through by 7. And that means then that y equals 6. I hope you can see this OK on the video. Alrighty, so we've gone from what is a relatively sophisticated uh, linear equation and we've solved it through using the same principle we use with adding fractions um, and then we've used linear algebra to be able to work out the value of y. Hope that's been OK for you. Please do add a comment below. I'll have a, uh, I'll always come back to you on the comments and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.